Well, I think for the United Church of Christ, uh, the issues facing us are first, uh, how do we uh, deal with the radical changes that are taking place in our culture and around us? How do we change as a church? Uh, how do we let go of cherished old patterns, uh, old structures, old ways of caring for people, and embrace uh, new structures, uh, new technologies, new opportunities for faithful witness? Uh, we're at a time of great change, and, and churches have a hard time changing. So how do we, how do we let go of cherished things in the past and claim new opportunities in the future? That's one challenge for us. The second challenge is how we encourage vital, inspiring worship. Uh, many of our congregations have not yet found the way to, uh, to create worship services, worship experiences, liturgies that are uplifting and inspiring and challenging uh, and exciting, particularly to a new generation of young people uh, who are looking for a different experience than perhaps their, uh, their elders. Uh, so worship, I think, needs to be at the center because increasingly uh, people's interaction with the church is Sunday morning uh, and not all the other times which we've been accustomed to. So how do we make that Sunday morning moment a faithful moment and an inspiring moment? Uh, how do we move toward excellence in our liturgies? A third challenge for us uh, is in the United Church of Christ, we focused heavily on issues of justice and peace how do we offer a bold public voice in our culture? And that needs to continue, that's who we are. But underlying that needs to be a sense of deep personal piety, a sense of spirituality, and how do we nurture a more evangelical spirit in our, in our lives? How do we uh, share our story of faith with more energy and more excitement? How do we invite people into our life uh, as people who have no church home, who are spiritually homeless, if you will. How do we invite them into our communities uh, and see them as our responsibility? Uh, how do we uh, teach the Bible and, and, and nurture a love for Scripture uh, that's deeper and more profound than we find in many of our places? So linking personal piety and public responsibility uh, continues to be a big challenge for us. Uh, and then the, the final one is the ongoing challenge in a time when it's tempting to be cautious on the bold public issues of the day, whether it's the environment or immigration or poverty or the issue of war and peace in, in the Middle East. Uh, it would be easy to be cautious uh, and not stick our necks out, as we say. Uh, but our church has often been a courageous church at its best. And so... Uh, giving courage the front place over caution is always the challenge for the United Church of Christ. I think for all of all churches, uh, how do we have an Easter faith that makes us bold and willing to take risks uh, rather than a, a Garden of Gethsemane faith that makes us want to run away when things are dangerous uh, and betrayal is easy. So giving Courage, the front place over caution, I think, is, is another challenge, an ongoing challenge for the church.